привет! Я Кулдип, я из Индии, но уже три года живу в Москве. Then I started researching about the company and I was very impressed. I started working as a sales manager in B2 Broker. Where is your elephant? I say I leave it on the, in the parking. <laughs> At that time, only Google, Google Translator helped me. <laughs> How are you doing, bro? Thank you. Uh, generally, when I come to the office, very first thing what I do is to check all the previous tasks from the yesterday. I try to answer all the painting match uh, emails which I have. I try to answer all the SMSs or messages on Skype on different social uh, network that I use for work. Uh, I would like to show you something very special. This is. Uh, the Ganesh ideal. It's an Indian god. It's called Ganesha. I have been given this uh, as a gift from one of my friends. Uh, I always keep this on my work table. It reminds me of my country, India. So yeah, it's really helpful. Just when I moved to Moscow in the first week itself, uh, I had my resume uh, on the internet itself. Uh, and then one of the members from our team, Dimitri Karpenko, Mr. Dimitri, uh, he called me up. He said, uh, we are looking for a specialist who speaks Hindi, English, Urdu, Russian, and we saw your resume. Uh, are you interested in this? So I was looking for the job and looking for the opportunity. Before that, I was not aware of B2 Broker, but then I started researching about the company and I was very impressed. about the company's profile. Uh, of course, like we are growing day by day, but that time uh, I saw the number of team, like uh, I remember it was like 70 to 80 people working in the company, but now it's like more than 220. So I was very impressed. And then I decided to give it a try. They called me up for the interview, like um, I clear some interviews in the beginning, give some tests or something. I had some education program for the first two weeks, which was paid by the company. So it was a really good experience. And then right after two weeks, uh, I gave my first exam and it was really good. And I started working as a sales manager in B2 Brokers. Yeah, it's confirmed, right? Yes. Same. So, yeah. ah, go. So right now, I take care of Indian region, uh, somewhere Middle East. Uh, I have some clients from uh, Asia, Europe, Southeast Asia. I, I work globally, but basically my uh, speciality is Indian, Indian clients. I came from India. I was born and brought up in Nagpur. It's a small town in Maharashtra. Not so small because the population is quite high. So I was born and brought up there. I finished my schooling and um, like college and university from Nagpur itself. I finished uh, as a bachelor in economics. After that, I finished a post graduation in MBA, uh, business management. And after that, I had some courses uh, related to the um, IT industry. So I made these courses and after that, I moved to Mumbai. I think I was working there as a QA, software engineer, a software tester. And um, after working there in Mumbai, always I had planned to move to some foreign country. I had a couple of options. I wanted to move to Canada, uh, Australia. Mm, Russia was no, mm, nowhere in my plans. There was something uh, special happened in my life. I met my life partner. It was on online, like uh, we met online because of some uh, like Bollywood movie or something. So as you know, Russian uh, in Russia, Bollywood movie is very famous. 
So there was like some comments and we, we got into it, into it and then we started talking. Uh, we started dating. First of all, it was a distance relationship, like long, long distance relationship. And then uh, we decided to take it to the next level. So we decided, like I decided to move to Russia. I moved to Russia in 2017. Yeah, so 17 uh, Oct October. First of all, uh, I started learning Russian language. It was like eight months long course, which I finished in the University of Russia in Saratov. Если ты учишь русский, то сложнее, но как я сказал, что хинди и русский грамматика получается одинаково, но не совсем одинаково, но есть там такие Момент, как, моменты, которые одинаковы. И если я перевожу все на хинди, на русском, тогда получается. Если на английском, русском, то не получается. Поэтому для меня как гораздо легче стало, когда я понял, что это близко к хинди. Смотри, раз, два, три, бум, раз, два, три, бум. Отлично? Да. Угу. И потом вот так, и вот так. I got married. So in 2019, uh, after working like eight months as a fitness trainer, I got married uh, to my life partner uh, in Sarato itself. So my parents, my friends, uh, everyone, they came to Russia for the marriage. Yeah, it was a big grand uh, Indian wedding, uh, plus Russian of course. And after a uh, couple of months, uh, after the wedding, couple of months uh, after I moved to Moscow. So whenever I come to the work in the morning every day, Alex or anyone else ask me where is your where is your elephant? I say I leave it on the in the parking. <laughs> I'm friends with everyone in B2 Brokers. And not only in my department, all around in the B2 Broker company, even in different offices. We have different offices all around the world. So we talk about work, but when our, in our free time we talk about our general life, our personal life, like when we're going to buy home, where we're going to go for vacation, uh, what you like, what you dislike. Uh, so you find people uh, with the same interest and you get friends. I would give special credit to the HR team and our CEO to, to recruit such people in B2 Broker team because all of them are professional and at the same time they are friendly. Regarding the colleagues that I have, uh, all of them, all the colleagues that I have, uh, they are from different nationalities, they are from different religion backgrounds. But one thing is common in them is that uh, they are highly professional. So when you work with such people who are highly professional, you get along with them very easily. We connect as an international team, okay? We work as an international team and we work as a team uh, itself. The Sami Kharosha Group. Один из них, самый хороший друг из Брянска. В Брянске точно. And about the management, about the company itself, I like that they provide you top class equipment, top class office, top class facilities to work in such environment. About the management, they give you freedom to express yourself, to let's say organize your work according to your style. So this is the freedom which uh, I feel it's very important for you to find yourself and to, to grow yourself. So this is what's very important about uh, the company itself and about the surrounding. I came here as a student in the beginning to learn Russian language. Very first thing uh, was very difficult for me is to find food for me. 60% of Indians they are vegetarian so as a human you have you have to get the protein somehow so lots of beans pulses and uh, all these vegetables oh Krishna Whoa. yeah I will start with uh, sweet this is some sweet it's called laddu uh, this is palak paneer it means uh, spinach and some cheese this is dal makhni, this is uh, chickpeas, uh, rice, salad and naan bread. Plus I have the yogurt lassi, it's called mango lassi. I don't want to say anything more, I just want to eat now. <laughs> Thank you, see you later. Uh, 
Uh, generally, I do yoga two times a week uh, because I do weight training. So four times a week I do weight training and two times a week I do yoga. Uh, it gives me a kind of uh, satisfaction. Uh, it gives me mobility, uh, flexibility and uh, inner peace. I was in my teenage, I think in 14 or 15 year old, uh, I read one book. Uh, it was about the millionaires and the billionaires of India. So one story from there or one person from there which who really motivated me and inspired me, uh, it's Ratan Tata. Ratan Tata is a very hard working man. He's old right now, 86 or something year old. There was a very famous story. All the Indian knows about this story. So he was into the let's say steel industry and he was getting into the automobiles uh, to produce cars uh, in India. He, he it, it was his dream to you know uh, produce very economical and uh, like uh, cost effective car which will cost around $2,000 or something uh, for all the Indian uh, people. So when he let's say presented this idea to all this uh, car experts like uh, Range Rover or let's say uh, Jaguar they were laughing at his idea in the beginning and uh, later when he succeeded on this uh, not only on this project but other project about uh, his cars like different cars project uh, these people who were laughing at him, uh, they like appreciate his work. Uh, in the beginning they laughed at his work and then they appreciate it. And later it uh, comes to that, that uh, Ratan Tata bought Jaguar and Range Rover company itself. Uh, my uh, take from this story is that never laugh at anyone. Even his uh, idea is the most funniest one or most stupidest idea. Uh, you need to always um, give respect to other people. Even though Maybe it's not good for you, maybe it's funny for you, but you need to listen or give respect to other people because for him maybe it's um, his lifetime project. I like to dream about things which I feel like I can achieve. I have like small dreams, not so fancy dreams like a sports car or something. Of course I want to grow uh, in my work life in my personal life this is uh, i'm more a family person so i want my family to be happy this is my dream i don't want any fancy things <laughs>